your friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be playing through some more Final Fantasy VII Remake. The game. The game that I'm in. That still blows my mind. I can't believe that. Um, so, take a second before we begin to hit the like button as I give a huge shout out to our patron of the day, Nyjah. Nyjah, thank you so much for contributing on Patreon, helping SRG grow and thrive. It really means the world to me and I appreciate you so much. And now, let's get on to that gameplay video. Enjoy everyone. What is waiting for us on the other side? It's Leslie! It's Leslie. Got some urgent info for the Don. <laughs> oh, I hate him. Oh, I had forgotten how much I hate him. Of course. Really? Without my little avalanche kittens? I thought I told you to round them up and bring them to me. Actually, it's them I came to talk about. Hmm. Uh. <gasps> Ouch! Who knew? Leslie. Who knew Don Corneo could throw, to, I don't throw think down I like that? You why I'm down here. Spilling the beans to those three escape artists was a serious mistake. Now I'm on Shinra's shit list. The plate stunt was meant to be an unprecedented tragedy. Claiming countless innocent lives. But those naughty little kittens organized an evacuation and screwed up the plan. Oh, I'll he's not going to be secret. okay with that. Shinra is going to abandon Midgar and build something close to paradise. I was invited to be a part of it. Dawn of a new and improved wall market. I'll be lucky to live another week. <sighs> Leslie. I was gonna let you run your own place. Give you a piece of the action. What a shame. Pop quiz time, kiddo! Villains like us only divulge our evil plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm? Oh, that belly jiggle. It's so gross. What do you think? You've already won. <laughs> Goodbye. Think again, Don. Huh? Yeah! You show him! You were talking about the Sector 7 plan. Keep talking, asshole. Ah! Over there! Over there, look! Don't try to bullshit us. But that's the thing. It's not technically bullshit when it's true. Uh-oh, please don't make me fight uh, Abzu again. Uh, oh no. Uh, oh no. Oh no. See, I've forgotten how to play. Good, Abzu! Oh no! Master! Again? They can't use the same dude's eggs twice? Oh no. And these weird pig goat sheep First things. Him, then Corneo. No, I forgot how to play. Oh no. What am I going to do? Button mash, Brianna. I believe in you. Okay. Do this. That will help. That's the offspring. Weak to fire. Good. But yeah, that that's what we want. Okay, weak to fire. What do we even have equipped? I've forgotten everything. What do we... Oh, we can't even... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Run! Okay. Take out the little guys first? I think so. Oh, we got fire equipped. That's good for us, then. That's good for us. Okay, let's take this little guy. Let's just let, like, Tifa and Barret do the Tifa and Barret thing. They're good at it. It's fine. All right, we got some ATB to spend. Now, if I remember correctly, we liked taking, you have to take out the horn, if I remember correctly, or is that a different monster? Oh, I don't remember. Let's work on the horn. Let's see what we can get going on the horn. 
Let's see if we can do a spell. Let's let's use some MP here. Oh, we got AP on Tifa. She can use. Let's do a star shower on the horn, and then let's get a. Yeah, maximum fury on the horn too. Sure. Okay, let's switch to Barret. How's that horn doing? Oh, please lock on to the right thing. There we go. Let's do an overcharge. And let's do some maximum fury. Oh, hold on. Alright, now let's do some maximum fury on that left horn. And it's actually doing something still. That's great. Okay. Oh no! Okay, I'm not really sure. Let's see if we can have Cloud use that triple slash to get some of these little guys out of the way. Shoat. The Shoats. Yes. Good times. And let's see if Tifa can use some Chi Traps to hopefully do some crowd control here. It's reduced. I'm not sure why. Wait, what happened to the horn? Oh, we killed it. Okay, so that's good. So now, oh no, we didn't kill it. It's still there. So why is it reduced? Let's see if we can do another maximum fury because that worked really well. Yeah, yeah, it's almost done. It's almost done. Yes, okay. And then let's go with a... Probably focus shot just on Absu. We've got a lot of ATB to use. I would love to get him staggered, so let's try to get a stagger going. Yeah, moderately increases stagger. Alright, let's go with that. And then let's get Cloud with a stagger as well. Hopefully we can get a stagger. Ouch! 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 Okay, Cloud could use some health. So I'm gonna pass some health along to Cloud. I can't get the... There we go. Um, okay. So while he's up there, we can do another one of these. No. Oh yeah, he's still doing it. Okay, good. Oh, we're gonna have to get out of the way of that, though. I saw that, and I was, like, stuck in it. That sucks. Okay. Cloud is gonna need to use... Oh, we can almost use Prey, but are we going to live to see it? Not sure. Uh, let's go with the Mega Potion. What does Tifa have? Chakra. Love it. Okay, let's use Overcharge to get us a Cura. Oh boy. Okay, we got to switch. Here we go. All right. Gosh, those things are so gross. Oh no, he's gonna get mad because we're killing the show. Okay. Let's get Cloud to do Prey. We're so close, but I don't wanna die first. Okay, so let's use Barret's Cura. Okay. 
And then Cloud can do Prey now. That sucked. And then maybe, oh, get out of there, get out of there. Barret! Oh boy, Barret and Cloud are just taking so much damage. Okay. What if we do a Barret Steel Skin? And then use Tifa, a potion for Cloud. Stay okay, I think we have to do some crowd control. I think we need some star shower on these shows. Okay. Cloud is poisoned and has an angry face, so that's not great. Cool, that got stunned, so that sucks. Um, okay. Let's do another Cura. I, I don't know if Cura is gonna make it. I think we gotta go Mega Potion. Okay, just to keep him alive. Okay, so we just did an overcharge to build some. Okay, good. So now I think we're in a better place to get a Cura going. Okay, that got Cloud and Barret. Now Cloud, I would love to have him build some ATB, and we can summon. Let's get him in here. Woo! He's gonna help with the crowd control. Get him. Get him! Okay, and Tifa can use Chakra as long as she doesn't get stunned again. Tailspin is close range. Okay. I'm waiting. No holding back. Okay, we want just a little bit more movement here. No, 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 no. I don't know what that is, but I do not like it. I need a prey. Should I be looking elsewhere? Crap. Not looking good. We are so close to a prey here. Okay. Go. Take it from here. All set. Okay. Let's get a cura on. <laughs> Okay, let's use a chakra. Let's use overcharge, get some ATB, and okay, we're back where we need to be. So now if we do um lifesaver in combo with the Mana wall, I think we'll be in a good place. Okay, so now let's use Lifesaver. Okay, now we can use Tifa. Bridal Strang. Because Tifa is really close to a limit break right now. Okay, and Ifrit's got Hellfire. We're doing okay. Thanks. Now where are we? Um, we need to get Barret up. We're not even using clouds. We're doing all defense right now. Okay, so let's use a Firaga on Abzu. I think that'll work really well. Then let's get Barret in with a... Barret needs an ether, but Tifa can do that. Okay, so let's get Tifa getting an ether for Barret so that Barret can then use Cura. On the team. Oh no, he's so close to down. Look at him, so close to down. Yes, 
Okay, no problem. No problems like riding a bike. We got it! Yay! <sighs> okay. That was some that was some management. There was some management required for that, but we did we did fine. We did good. Okay. Let's go back to our bench. Please let me go back. No, oh, please let me go back to the bench. <laughs> I just want the bench. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that his like dead corpse just hangs out there. So, yeah, that's nice. Although he'll he'll return to the live stream soon. Okay, cool. Moving on. Nailed it. Oh no, Leslie! You okay? How'd he get in this room Where's anyway? Cornel? Sorry, bastard got away. Uh, it's fine. I'll track him down eventually. Not like I have anything better to do. You know, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Uh. Oh, Tifa. She could still be out there. She has got such a warm heart. Never be heart. sure how much someone means to you till they're gone. Don't give up on her yet. Was it a message? What was she trying to tell me? We'll meet again. Huh? It's a symbol of reunion. <laughs> then I guess I've got no choice but to find her first. <laughs> Thanks. Hold up. Aww. I think you might be forgetting something. I haven't. Found it. Let's get out of here, and then I'll give you what you need. That's really nice. It's really nice that Leslie got a little bit of hope and resolution to his backstory. And I love that moment where, like, Tifa said something, and then Barrett said something, and then Cloud, like, kind of, like, stuttered and was like, I should say something. And just froze <laughs> and then Tifa cut in and was like this is what it means <laughs> classic cloud he is still learning okay so up the ladder or through the door the door has been unlocked and what is the point of this door being unlocked? I can go back to the bench. Well, that's all I needed. But first... What's up here? I know this is kind of like how we got around before, but, oh, more boxes, smash, excellent. But I'm kind of not wanting to waste too much time wandering around this area. Uh, how do we get, how do we get back to her? How do I get out of where I'm at? Let's see. We were here and then Leslie brought us up here. So let's just do this ladder and see where that takes us and go from there. Yes, we would like to head back up. Gosh, that fat chocobo is so goofy. Are you all stoked that we now have a chocobo emote? Finger guns. 
Finger Guns Chocobo. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, I love it. I was really proud of that design. <laughs> oh, I forgot there's multiple tips. Okay, I'll look at multiple. Oh. I always remember at just the wrong time. Ah. Uh, taste that sweet midgar small. <laughs> That's what it's like coming home to California. This way. In the airport. It's like, ah, uh, smells like home, but also, oh, it's so gross. Grappling guns. You can practically fly with the souped up motors on these babies. Sector 7 is on the other side of that wall. The guns will get you over and past it, along with any number of other obstacles. But they're one way tickets. So once you start up, there's no coming back. Oh, okay. you should probably get your affairs in order, just in case. Thank you. Didn't tell you before, but we're looking for someone too. That right. Hope you find them. You too. Okay, so, oh, oh, sweet. <laughs> I was gonna be very concerned about how the heck I was gonna get back to where I needed to go, but this makes it super easy and that's awesome. Tomorrow, also to cutscene. I mean, loading screen is very short, though, which was fabulous. Um, oh, wow, this is great. Hey, Marl. This was so easy. Gosh, I love it when games just let you do these things. Ugh, okay. Oh, what brings you here? Just a little... They're to be used to help the people of Sector 7 rebuild. The Angel of the Slums? You didn't meet her, did you? Oh, we did. Tell me, what was she like? She was a grandma. Never met her. Just her go-between. A shame. Oh, bless her sweet soul. I don't know what to say. I'll make sure the funds are put to good use. Here, why don't you take this? Something tells me you can <gasps> use it more than me. HP and MP fully restored and we got the Art of Sword Play 3. We're gonna sit on the bench anyway because it's our best friend. Okay, so we got the art of swordplay. And what do we do with that again? I think we have some leveling up to do. Now, do I remember what my general plan was? No. Um, my general plan, I think, was to make the buster sword my nice even weapon. Because this is very magic attack, this is very physical attack, this is very scary, and this was a nice good middle ground. So let's lean into that middle ground as we upgrade our weapon. Okay, we have 25 to spend, and we have our points allocated in such a such and such a way. It would be nice to up our magic attack, so it's good to have that with only six. Over here, we have attack power, MP, or MP regeneration, 
which I love for Cloud. We also have Defense and Magic Defense. I love both of those, but if we went for both of those to make the Buster Sword like a little bit more of a defense weapon, if we went with that kind of build, we suffer on some attack, we can't cast as much magic, and we use up all the SP we have. If we go this route, what's 14 plus 6? 20? So we could get one of these and then we could get our magic attack. But that's all we could do. We can get a new materia slot, limit break damage boost. Cloud, I don't limit break with him a ton because he doesn't have the speed to build it that quickly. I tend to end fights quicker than he can build limit break. Tifa... I usually limit break all the time, but mm, as I'm thinking of magic attack power plus 16 is a really, really good increase. I also love the idea of max HP for Cloud because I hate it when he dies. It's very annoying. Um, so if we went HP, Then we could go with magic attack power plus eight, which would balance out our balanced weapon, which I think was our, our goal in the first place. So, I don't know. Wait, come back. I was making a decision. We can always rearrange this, but... Actually, that's interesting too. We also could get one of these because math, right? So we could do, yeah, but we really want the magic attack power. We wanna balance out the weapon. So let's do magic attack power plus eight and then pass on over to here and get HP. Yeah. Perfect, a nice balanced weapon. That's what I like. Okay, I'm happy with that. Tifa could use some upgrades for sure. Yep, 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 mm-hmm, okay. We have 15 to spend on her. Let's look at her new core. We have MP plus six. She's not really a caster, but a new materia slot would be pretty cool. <laughs> and then she'd have like 840 materia slots, but that would use up all the SP we have. So let's see what else we might want. Speed, MP. Elemental materia damage, uh, a lot of buff and debuff stuff. Actually, I, I kind of like the idea of a materia slot for her. I mean, I'm not aiming to max out all my materia. That's not like my goal, but I think one of the things that I have been missing in my playthrough is a raise materia. I haven't been, I haven't had that equipped on anyone the entire game. So it would be nice to be able to equip that. So let's go with that. Okay. Cool. And then let's immediately add it so I don't forget my plan. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. Time. Well, that's haste and slow. Love. What do we have this on? Uh, HP absorption materia and parry. But I hate that. Why did I equip this? Guards against enemy attacks and allows you to quickly unleash your next move. Hold R1 and press 0 to activate. I'm never going to use that. Why did I equip this? Okay, AP up materia and we're boosting our luck. Great, okay. 
Auto cure. Love it. It was very helpful in the Abzu fight. All right. Where's our where's our raise materia? Revival. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we've got that equipped and we feel good about it. Okay. Now, did we Okay, so we're on a mission to go save Aerith right now, right? Listen. I don't want to get into cutscene extravaganza and then all of a sudden, I don't know when she's going to show up, so I don't want to like get her back in the party and then she's fighting but she has nothing equipped. So Really quick, we're going to equip her stuff, even though she's not around right now. Um, let's give her... I really like um, using elemental spells on her. So what do we have? I wish I could sort. I wish I could sort. Look, there's a sort. Sort by level. All right. So let's see our higher level stuff that we love. Um, let's see. Let's, yeah, that's grayed out because it's on another weapon. So let's get her healing materia on there. Let's get, allows an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from a linked materia. Nope, that's not gonna work. Do, 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 do. She already has prayer. That's great. Let's see. What else? Um, I don't mind the synergy. So let's get her synergy linked in here. Is it grayed out? Yeah, okay. Synergy with uh, elemental such as uh, fire, ice, lightning, wind, poison. I'm thinking either... Fire or ice, but that's, let's do ice for linked. Prayer, magic up. So then all we have left to give her here is, What else do I want to give her? She already has a magic up, maybe an MP up. Slightly fills the ATB gauge when multiple ATB commands are performed. I don't really know how that works. Block, ATB assist, small ATB increase, incre increase for repeating commands. I don't understand what that does either. No, no, no. Yeah, maybe we'll just do an MP up. Cool. I'm good with that. We just have to upgrade her weapon. Because right now she's using the Mithril Rod. Okay, let's upgrade her weapon. And what? We have 52 to spend. And we only have three cores. So, okay. <laughs> oh, what are we going to give her? This is already a very heavy magic attack weapon. So, but then again, like, does she use physical attack anyway? So maybe we should just lean into the magic attack power. Um, I love the idea of giving her more uh, HP and defense. I do love that. I love new materia slots. Okay, magic 20% boost with full MP. That's only good for one cast. I hate that. Um, let's go straight to HP because I never want her to die. We don't want that. Then let's go at least one materia slot. Oh, it's going to connect those two. which isn't going to help us very much until we get two of them. So 16 times two is 32. That uses up all of them to get a new materia slot. Eh, don't love that. I don't love that very much. Uh, I'd rather go with... I'd rather go with two magic attack powers, honestly. So let's do it. 
Let's let's make her an ultra powerful attack power mage. I have no regrets. Okay, cool. Uh, now what? Save the game to save all of those things. Lock those in just in case something gets broken, which will be good. So let's rewrite this one. Or these ones are really close together. So let's rewrite that one. We were hanging out with Merle because we were completing our side quests. So we've completed our side quests, which is fabulous news. But does that mean that we're done with our side quests and we're ready to engage in the one-way trip over the wall and up to save Aerith? And that right there, my dear, dear friends, is where we're ending today's episode. I hope you loved it as always. Please do leave me a comment and let me know. Check in with me and uh, I look forward to reading your comments and thoughts about this episode. Uh, were they good? Was the moments good? Was the reactions and comments fabulous? I hope. I make this content for you guys. I always say that, but it's really true. So I hope that you enjoy it as goofy as it may be. So thank you so much. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for Strange Rebel Gaming so you do not miss the next episode. You don't want to miss the next one. Trust me. That's all. I love you all. <laughs>